Yo, what's up guys, Sitchiko Golden here, welcome to another episode. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the best backup bridge from deck to push in Clash Royale. In my opinion, without a doubt, it's this version with the Evo Battle Ram, with the Evo Set, both of them combining really well. In the typical backup bridge from deck, we're not running it with a big spell, you can use instead of arrows if you would like to. Fireball or Poison, but I feel like Evo Bomber is just so popular, I kind of need, well in my opinion, you kind of need to run the arrows, I kind of need it in some matchups. But it does really depend in other matchups. I guess a big spell helps a little bit more. But in general, I definitely um, yeah, like this combo with the Evo Zap and the, um, the arrows as well. Okay, looks like this guy starts off with Mortar. Let's go with Little Prince here right away. We also cycled the Ghost, so I think I'm just gonna let this be. Or maybe we need to go with Ability, actually. Um, yeah, let's go with Ability just to make sure that the Mortar afterwards doesn't get a second shot. And then the Ghost also got quite a bit of value. And I think here with the Zap, we should be able to defend it without taking any damage. Dagger Dashes is a really strong tower trip right now. I don't know if you guys saw the monthly finals, by the way. Yesterday, Mohamed Light got a ticket. What a surprise. But also, what didn't really surprise me is that all the matches, all the pro players are running the new tower trip. Like, it's just so strong, so broken right now. So, um, yeah, definitely shows the current state of the meta. And then also just why everyone is running the Dagger Dashes because it's just so strong, even against beatdown decks. People still um, run it. Of course, they do kind of adapt with their decks, with the towers. Some people, for example, because it was normal duels, ran all of the sudden Inferno Tower, those type of troops. I guess you do need to, yeah, how do you say, like adapt, adjust. But at the same time, it's just so, um, yeah, so strong, so OP right now. Okay, let's go arrows here. Let's then afterwards go with our better M as well. I think the minions might be able to take care of the mortar before it's gonna hit the mortar. So then the better will go straight to the tower. Please tell me it connects. Okay, nice. We got a connection. Barbarians are also still going to lock onto the tower. So there's going to be a lot of damage dealt on his left side tower. And then here we do need to watch out with the Musketeer. But honestly, the Musketeer isn't really that scary. Um, yeah, unless he supports it with, I was about to say, maybe a miner or something. I'm going to have Zep ready just in case he goes with like high bits. If not, he's just, yeah, going to let it be. And I'm also going to let it be. Okay, interesting. I think I'm going to go, oh, he goes with Evil Mortar. Not sure about this evil mortar to be honest. He also goes with bets at the bridge. I'm not really sure about this play. I think the counter push we're gonna have is gonna be insanely strong. Not sure if he has a big spell. He might go with like a poison if he has it. But he just spent evil mortar. He just spent bets as well at the bridge. We can go with Pekka here, and then this should be pretty annoying for him. He does have the guard, so I think he's gonna go guards. Uh, yeah, I was about to say guards any second, and then we can go with a zap here to maybe try and uh, retarget it onto the guardian. But the Pekka will go down, so not the best situation. But anyways. Still a pretty good situation for us, I would say. Okay, let's see what he's gonna do. I think he's gonna go, yeah, I was about to say, I think he's gonna go with his ability. Let's have the arrows ready. Let's go with Ghost. Ghost wasn't even that necessary, to be honest. And then here we can go with our minions as well. Okay, perfect. Pretty good situation. He does have the evil bets. We need to maybe go with Zep. Yeah, I'm gonna go evil Zep on defense. This evil Zep is gonna help out a little bit as well against the guards and also against the musketeer. So pretty good situation, we can go with Little Prince, we can go with Bennett, we can go with Ghost. If he goes with um, yeah, his ability, that will be way too aggressive. And then here we can go, I think with a better M, honestly. Yeah, I think this better M should be pretty annoying for him. I'm also gonna go with our means um, yeah, at the bridge. He does get a really nice poison, but how are you gonna stop this better M right now? I don't think he has lock and cycle. Better M is gonna go straight to the tower, push away the Skeleton King, and then the Barbarians are also gonna lock onto the tower for quite a bit of chip damage. So this is looking very good, and in my opinion, this is not an easy matchup. Because he has a really good cycle against Pekka. He has guards. He has Musketeer. We don't have a big spell. This is definitely not easy, guys. Okay, let's go Little Prince here. Let's then afterwards go with some minions to support this Pekka push with the Ghost. I'm also going to go Bennett at the bridge. And at this point, I think I'm not going to be saying good game. Because we might still somehow end up losing this matchup. But I think if we don't make any mistakes, should be our match, to be honest. Okay, let's go with Betteram here. And then we do need to be careful here, as I said, with this um, yep, situation. But I think if we don't make any huge mistakes, we should be fine, to be honest. Okay, let's go with um, Zep. Let's then go with Little Prince here to clean up those pits. And I'm also going to go... I think I'm going to go Arrows here, honestly. I don't really want to deal with everything and risk the Evil Mortar to lock onto our tower. I think it might still be on the tower for one shot, but that's fine. I mean, honestly, we can just go with Ghost here. The Goblin is not going to, like, take the tower. It is kind of looking scary, but at the same time, I think we should be fine, to be honest. Okay, let's go better him now. Let's then have the Evil Zep ready. I think in the worst case situation... We can even just um, yeah, try and spell cycle this guy. Okay, let's go Bennett towards the right side. I'm going to go Pekka here to start building another push. And then we have the evil Betterum available again. Okay, nice. We can get a nice evil Zep. That's a really good evil Zep because it's going to take care of the guards. Knowing that the cycle isn't the best right now, I'm also going to go Betterum right side. I'm going to go Minions as well. And I'm just at this point going to pressure spam him a lot. I don't know if he's going to be able to defend this, but I don't think so. We're in Triple Elixir, so whenever you hit Triple Elixir, you just want to... 
yeah, get um, the spam going. Nice. Let's go with arrows. And really, we have yeah both towers so low right now. I think yeah, I was about to say. I think at this point, this guy should probably give up because there was no way he was gonna win from that situation. So very nice, good game um, or very nice game. Let's give it a good game to start off today's episode. That was not the easiest matchup, I think at least. I mean, wasn't that hard as well. But at the same time, him having mortar, kind of a quick cycle with musketeer with the guards, he can definitely defend very well all the pushes. But I think we did a good job mainly focusing on defense and then whenever you prioritize defense and afterwards go on a tank i think that's the, the main kind of yeah key i guess i want to say in those type of matchups because i feel like if we just randomly spam without really thinking about it he's just gonna get so much value out of his guards out of his musketeer get a huge counter push and then maybe catch us without elixir or something so very important to first prioritize your defense and then afterwards go um on the counter attack or on offense maybe opposite lane or even both lanes at the same time Okay, this guy's running Fennec. Fennec has been used quite a bit recently, mainly in the Giant deck. I don't know if you guys saw it. I uploaded it, I think, two days ago. A very, very strong Giant deck. It might be that version. I don't know if it runs Fireball, but I guess... Yeah, maybe people are running with Fireball nowadays. Okay, let's just go with back on the back here. If he goes opposite lane with, like, a Giant at the bridge or something, I think we can DPS it down with the Dagger Dashes plus, like, minions and maybe even a Bandit. If he's not, I'm just gonna focus on a big Pekka push here. After seeing Skelly King, after seeing Phoenix, I'm definitely thinking about a potential yeah, Giant version. Giant has been really popular recently, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be some version like that. I was about to say he might go Giant here to even kite the P.E.K.K.A. In this case, we can go with Minions, we can go with Bedroom towards the right side, and it should be a lot of damage. Very, very good situation for us, to be honest. Okay, nice. The P.E.K.K.A. is going to be um, yeah, kind of low, but at the same time, whenever Dagger Dash just runs out of ammo, it's just not really good. So as you guys can see, that's going to be, I think, a hit. No, not going to be hit on the tower, but we still have the ghost there. I'm going to go ability as well. And then I think I'm even going to go bandit. I mean, he doesn't have much elixir. I don't think he has much uh, in cycle either for this bandit push with the little prince. Let's try to get the bandit up front of the little prince. And then this should be just so much damage. Maybe even tower down if he doesn't go with like a last second fireball. Because if not, the little prince, as you guys can see, is going to lock home. It's going to go X-Bow mode. And then it's just yeah, shooting like an X-Bow. Taking down a tower without you even noticing it. Okay, perfect. So left side tower goes down. Very nice pressure. A lot of um, advantage taken of the single elixir situation. And then let's go with Zephyr to cycle. Okay, he might go with opposite lane giant. So I don't really want to go Pekka like already into a night witch. I actually want to wait a little bit to see if he goes with giant. And then whenever we see the giant, I'm going to go Pekka. Okay, let's go Pekka here. He's gonna Evil Bomber. Three, two, one. Let's go with a prediction. No, okay. Looks like he didn't go with Evil Bomber. Still, very good um, situation. Arrows was able to get a bit of value. We do need to be careful now because we don't have the arrows in cycle. He might uh, yeah, get a lot of value from the Evil Bomber afterwards. Okay, let's go Minions here as well. Let's then, I think, go with a Ghost. We need to be careful here, to be honest. But I think we should be fine. We have also another set of arrows ready. Ghost plus everything there is doing a decent um, yeah, job on defense. And then we can even keep up the pressure. He used the fireball, so we can go with evil better and plus minions. And this should be a good game. We have the evil sap here as well for his evil bomber. And then anything he drops, I don't think he's gonna have that much time. Only 10 seconds left. So yeah, there's definitely no time left for him to take our tower. Let's give it a good game. Very nice game. I like how we pressured a lot in one in single elixir. I feel like a lot of people are kind of afraid to use Pekka because it's seven elixir, but at the same time, some situations, if you know or kind of know his deck and you think, okay, in single elixir. We're going to be able to get a lot of value out of the P.E.K.K.A., be annoying with it, or maybe even get a lot of damage. In this case, the P.E.K.K.A. necessarily didn't get that much damage, but just forced out a lot of Elixir, forced out the defensive giant, and then afterwards with the counter push, with all the pressure, we were able to take down a tower. So very nice game there. Let's open to the third game right away. Okay, looks like we found the match. Looks like we're up against Eternal. Let's give him the good luck. And I think we're just going to start off by sepping yeah, his tower. Always a nice play to start off the episode, or to start off the episode, to start off the game. Okay, let's go Ghost here towards the left side. He has a Lock, so Lock most of the times is going to be some kind of Cycle deck. I'm just going to go P.E.K.K.A. here, to be honest. I didn't... Um, well, we just used the Ghost, so I didn't have Ghost in Cycle. And then here, the P.E.K.K.A. will be able to trade the Drill, and afterwards, he's going to respond to it. Okay, I think I'm going to go Minions. I mean, Minions most of the times is pretty annoying for these type of decks, because if he has Poison, he's going to maybe have to Poison it. Um, or if not, he's just going to have to overspend on it. In this case, he goes Mighty Miner. Plus ability, which is a lot of elixir. I mean, he spent there, uh, yeah, five elixir just to defend the minions. And the minions were still able to get quite a bit of damage. I'm actually going to keep up the pressure here. I'm going to go Little Prince. No, the Little Prince went for a walk. Okay, that's kind of unfortunate because this Mighty Miner is going to get a lot of damage because of that. But I guess it's fine. Um, not the best Little Prince on our part. But yeah, as I said, I guess it's fine. Not a huge deal either. 
Okay, I'm gonna go a bit towards the right side. And I don't think he has that much elixir right now. I don't know if he's gonna have enough elixir for the mighty miner. Um, if he does, yeah, I was about to say, if he does, he's not gonna um, go with Luke. In this case, he goes with Luke, so I don't think he will have that much elixir. He might get a mighty miner down just on time, but that's still a pretty good situation. Forcing out the mighty miner early on is also good because then afterwards he will not have it to cycle it in the big and abuse the three card cycle. Okay, so let's see what he's gonna do here. I think the Mighty Miner, we should just let it be. Ghost also got a little bit of damage on it, so I don't think it's gonna get that much damage on top of our tower. Well, I don't really trust that, to be honest, so I'm just gonna go with Zep just in case, because the Dagger Dashes, whenever it's out of ammo, I mean, you guys know it, it's not really good against any unit, and the Mighty Miner on your tower is like letting an Inferno Dragon heat up. That's kind of scary. So let's go with the Veteran right away. He does go with a nice Evil Bomber. Evil Bomber is gonna splash, um, yeah, twice on the tower. Let's go with Bennett here as well. And then I think he might go... Okay, looks like he goes with Drill. Okay, nice drill by him. Let's then go with Minions. And I think I'm going to switch lanes here. I definitely don't think we should be going same lane. Or at least not um, get all our troops in one lane. I think it's still fine to play sometimes same lane with like a better or something. But in general, you definitely don't really want to be playing same lane against these type of decks. Okay, let's go Arrows here. Let's then afterwards go with Little Prince. I'm going to go Ghost here off to the side. And then let's see what he's going to drop. Okay, he goes with his Ice Spirit. I think I'm going to go with Bedram here. And then afterwards, I'm going to try and zap his Evil Bomber. Yeah, there you go. There's the Evil Bomber, so let's zap the Evil Bomber right away. And then afterwards, let's see how he's going to def defend this um, Evil Bedram push. Okay, he does go with a second Tesla. Mighty Miner with 1 HP is kind of clutching the game for him. Let's go with Ability last second. Let's then go with Minions as well to keep under pressure to be annoying. In the meantime, we have the Ghost on the right side. If he's not going to defend it, the Ghost is going to lock onto the tower. There you go. He goes with a Mighty Miner, but a little bit too late. And that Ghost is able to get two shots on the tower, which is a good amount of damage. Okay, let's go Pekka here to try and kill his Mighty Miner. We do need to be careful. Um, but the Mighty Miner will not be able to get that much damage, I think, especially if we go Bennett here. And then let's go with a let's go with a better ram. Not really sure what to cycle here. I think I'm just gonna go better ram left side. I'm gonna go Little Prince right side. Keep the pressure in both lanes. Let's go Minions here as well. And I'm gonna go with ability last second. He doesn't have that much uh, yeah, ammo in the dagger dashes, so this should be able to get quite a bit of damage. And then we force out a Tesla there on the left side. Oh my god, wait, did the Little Prince lock on? I think our Little Prince locked on because it just got so much damage. Okay, let's go Pekka up high. Pekka's gonna tank both for the Mighty Miner and for the Bomber. I don't think the Bomber is even gonna connect once. And that's gonna be a very nice situation for us. Okay, let's go better him here. Let's then go with Bennett on the right side. We just gotta keep under pressure. And I'm also gonna go with some minions. Always being annoying with the minions. As you guys can see, we're often forcing a lot of elixir with the minions. Or getting a lot of damage out of them. Okay, let's go Zeppi on the right side. Please tell me that the minion... Ooh, I wanted the minion to hit once the tower. But I guess it's fine. Still a very good situation for us. Okay, so one minute left in Triple Elixir. I think it's gonna be scary because he's gonna cycle like crazy. Okay, let's go Pekka here. Let's then... Ooh, we need to watch out. It was a very nice Bomber by him. Let's go with Arrows, but the Bomber is gonna splash. Yeah, the Bomber is gonna splash twice. Ooh, that hurts. Okay, that actually hurts a lot. Let's go with Evil Better towards the right side. Let's then go with Ability towards the left side. And I'm also gonna go with a Bennett here. Plus some minions towards the left side. Okay, perfect. Good amount of pressure. Let's go with Zep. And then I think I'm gonna go... Mm, not really sure because the left side didn't get anything oh my god this is not looking good guys this is not looking good let's go with a ghost here let's then go with a bandit last second he's gonna cycle really really fast though we're gonna have to try and cycle back towards our um yeah ghost as soon as possible okay let's go e for set let's go with ghost on defense i'm just gonna pressure a lot at the bridge to maybe force out the poison defensively and then this way he cannot go with it offensively okay he does go with it offensively let's see Okay, let's go with Zep. Let's have the Ghost ready on defense. Let's go with Ghost, I think, here. Predicting a potential drill. And let's then go with Arrows offensively. Please tell me that we win. Okay, nice. The Ghost got a shot. I think even without the Ghost, we probably would have won with the damage. That was really scary. At some point, I was like, okay, in Triple Elixir, I knew that it was gonna hard. Uh, I knew it was gonna be hard. But then still, I thought like, okay, I think we might be able to get something going. But in Triple Elixir, you guys saw it. It was just way too difficult to get the damage going. I don't even know how we ended up winning that matchup. But still a very nice video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. There were some very nice games with Pekka Bridgeman. Pekka Bridgeman is just so fun to use in my opinion. I don't know if you guys also like it. Hopefully you guys do. If you did, please make sure to smack the like button. If not, subscribe to the channel. Feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.